The coronavirus also struck the royal family when Prince Charles fell ill. And yesterday, the Queen took the rare step of addressing the public about the pandemic. And we have the details of how they kept her safe. I'm speaking to you at what I know is an increasingly challenging time. Queen Elizabeth practiced social distancing during her four-minute speech. Our royal source tells us there was only one cameraman, he wore a mask and gloves, and was positioned far enough away from the 93-year-old queen. Today, once again, many will feel a painful sense of separation from their loved ones. Other than her annual Christmas message, this was only the fifth time in her 68-year reign that Elizabeth has addressed her subjects, including the death of Princess Diana in 1997. We have all been trying to help William and Harry. No doubt Harry watched his grandmother's speech from his new home in L.A., where he's holed up with Meghan and Archie. We're told Harry, quote, misses his family. He's been staying in touch with his father and loves his grandmother. Meanwhile, Meghan's first post megxit gig just debuted, the new Disney nature documentary, Elephant. On the long road back to the Delta. Meghan recorded her top secret voiceover back in October at London's Pinewood Studios, and she wasn't alone. But we also had Harry from the cheap seats in the back, <laughs> sort of suggesting some alternative pronunciation. Uh, uh, only on the African words, because obviously words. he spent so much time in Botswana. There he is. He's, um, what is he doing? The filmmakers think this cute baby elephant reminded Megan of Archie. When she actually narrated it, Archie was still just a, a wee lad. It's time for a pool party. 